Hi guys, my name is Clemen, and today I will talk about the Jaws. So basically, the Jaws is a thriller movie. It was held in Atlantic Resort, Amity Island, and directed by Steven Spielberg. Just to make sure that you know who Steven Spielberg is, other than the mo- mo- the movie Jaws, he also directed some famous Hollywood. Hollywood blockbuster movies, example, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, and Casper. But the biggest success is the movie Jaws. And guess what? Jaws was also counted as the best summer blockbuster. So, because of this movie, The Jaws, Steven Spielberg became one of the best directors in the world. At 1975, during the 1970s, you know that do, they don't have any advanced items or accessories to, to film a perfect movie. It will be more challenging compared to modern days. So for a movie like this in the 1970s, it's counted as high rated the main character in the movie is Roy Skyler as Martin Brody as a New York cop that is very suspicious about the beach. This guy. And Robert Shaw quints as a mad guy who has a lot of experience killing sharks. And Richard Dreyfuss, Matt Hooper, as the scientist of having a lot of knowledge about sharks. This guy. This makes a good theme in a type of movie like this. The making of this movie, The Jaws, is hard as they have failed quite a lot of time. Yet Steven Spielberg, the director, did not give up and continue his journey. The incident they had in the making of the movie was the boat started to sink and the three main actors were on the boat but they end up getting saved. The other incident was unbelievable. Steven Spielberg actually changed the whole script in the making of the movie and yet his journey is a success by having a budget of 9 million and the income of 470 million. Amazing success. Things that you might not know about the movie Jaws is Steven Spielberg actually thought of trying to train a shark for the movie but end up using an electronic shark. This shark. Other than that, the movie was not recorded fully in Atlantic Resort Amity Island. It was also recorded in a pond because the the electronic shark cannot be in the salt water for too long. And the last thing you might not know is a novel written by Peter Benchley. In the story, Hooper, the scientist, died, but in the movie, Hooper survived till the end. It is because Steven Spielberg think that in the movie he have he have not done bad things and a characteristic of a good guy. Amazing, huh? I would rate this movie seven out of ten for a thriller movie like this. Well, if you haven't watched it, I think you should or you must. This is a trailer before the movie comes off. Look how tricky is it. It makes you just want to watch it so badly, isn't it? There is a creature alive today who has survived millions of years of evolution without change, without passion, and without logic. It lives to kill. A mindless eating machine. It will attack and devour anything. It is as if God created the devil and gave him jaws.
This is Universal's extraordinary motion picture version of Peter Benchley's best-selling novel, Jaws. I just found out that a girl got killed here last week. And you knew it. You knew there was a shark out there. You knew it was dangerous. But you let people go swimming anyway. Barracuda. Devices. Huh? What? You yell shark. So we've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. Is it true that most people get attacked by sharks in three feet of water, about 10 feet from the beach? Yeah. What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. We're not only going to have to close the beach, we're going to have to hire somebody to kill the shark. Bad fish. But I'll catch him and kill him. Did you hear your father? This shark, swallow you whole. You're going to need a bigger boat. That's a 20 footer. 25. Three tons of them. Hold it up, he's coming straight for us. Don't screw it up now. Don't wait for me. Now! Shoot! fantasies of evil can compare with the reality of Jaws. Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, Jaws. See it before you go swimming. And that is the trailer, guys. It's very tricky, right? And catchy and scary so tune in to my next episode that I will talk about the sound effect thank you and bye